In this economy, eh? One needs to be very careful on spending. If not, hmm. You see this soup, eh? This is so far the easiest and the cheapest soup I have made. Just keep watching to see how I made it. I used fresh fish to make this soup and some dry fish also. So what I did first was to clean the fish and wash the fish. I have done this off camera. So I seasoned with salt only and I fried this fish till they were golden brown. I removed the bones. I did not throw away the bones. Keep the fish meat aside and keep the bones aside, okay? This is the obey I use for this soup. I just finished smoking it. So let's get straight into making this delicious soup. In a pot, I added water, then I added some dry fish, salt, and my homemade stock cube. Feel free to use your own stock cube, okay? I covered to let this fish cook for some time. All the bones in this fish, look at them here, including the head. And look at the fish meat. There is no bone in this fish meat. So if I'm adding it to the food, we are safe. No one is picking up any bone. Because my children, eh, once they spot any bone in the food, they are done. You will finish the food for them. And here are some roasted obey, uziza seed, and habanero pepper. I blended this together with the fish bones. Feel free to blend the fish bones separately. Filter it, pour the stock in your soup or in any food you're making, then throw the bones away. So this is our soup. It has been cooking for some time. I added chopped onion and here I have the blended obey, the fish bones and the pepper and the uziza seed. See how nicely blended they are. So I pour them in the soup. I used yam. I added it at this point also. I covered and allowed to cook. I let this cook till the yam is halfway cooked and I added this fish meat. I cover this to cook this time till the yam is well cooked. At this point, feel free to remove some pieces of the yam. Then if the soup is not thickened to your taste, take some pieces of the yam, mash it or blend it or pound it, then add it back to the soup. It will thicken the soup. I also added some few leaves of otazi. I'm sorry, I added it off camera and let this cook for one to two minutes and yalla, your soup is ready. Can you see that? Is this soup not good enough? This soup saved me a lot. I spent just little in making this soup and I believe it will be very helpful to you. Hope you enjoyed watching. See you again by the grace of God in our next video. Until then, stay strong, stay motivated, keep winning, keep looking unto Jesus. Only from Him our help comes. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye.